Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have my May 2022 home fragrance melt slash burn basket, whatever you want to call it. And like always, I have six candles to share with you guys and six melts. Anything else I finish in the month of May is going to be wild cards that you will see in my upcoming empties for May. So let's jump in, get started, and take a look at what I chose for my burn slash melt basket. Spoiler alert, I'm going to show you guys two melts that I did not even haul. They are from Yankee Candle. I do have a Yankee Candle haul coming up. And you guys will see these in there because I did buy multiples of them. This is Yankee Candle Wax Melt. This is one of the singles in a mango ice cream. They had these at the outlet for a dollar. My daughter thought that the mango ice cream smelled like a Victoria's Secret love spell. She was a huge fan of it. Personally, when I smelled it, I thought that it smelled like the old school Bath & Body Works Tutti Dolce Mango Sorbet. Like spot on. So I'm really, really excited for this one. I got some mango and orange scents that you're going to see in candles shortly. So I guess oranges are going to be my jam this month. Next one is another new one that you guys haven't seen me haul yet, and this is the Sweet Plum Sake. So same deal, on sale for a dollar, and I found this scent very intriguing. So I've never had sake in my life, but this smells like a boozy plum, and I kind of like it. It's not like a fall time plum, it's definitely like springy and summer. So I definitely look forward to seeing how this performs and how this actually smells when it's being melted. Next melt we have here is another citrus. This is Swan Creek Herbal Melt in Mulberry Mandarin. And I love Mulberry Mandarin. Unfortunately, they don't make this in the tubs. They only make it in the six packs, which are a little bit more costly. Very nice mandarin fragrance, and it does have a very good, true mulberry fragrance to it. I love mulberry scents. I will be sad to see this one go, but I've been down to four cubes for a while, and it's just time that I migrate it out of my collection. That way I have space for new, because when am I not buying new? There's always new wax to be had. So next we have a Scentsy Bar here, and this is hands down my favorite Scentsy Bar. This is Iridescent Pearl. This is a gorgeous, fresh, aquatic smell. I definitely think that it's a little bit powdery, a little bit feminine, but not, not mature by any means. Like this is, oh, I love this one. It kind of reminds me of like, the smell of like bath soaks, bath melts um, that you put in your tub. Like it's a very shower clean. I love, 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 love this fragrance. I would be on cloud nine if they brought this out in like counter clean, bathroom clean, all purpose cleaner. I use the aloe water and cucumber because that is like my second favorite, but iridescent pearl is like the grown up sister of aloe water and cucumber. Absolutely phenomenal true favorite for mine. I have hordes of it. I was glad to see it come back. I'm sure I will restock before they transition over to fall and winter fragrances. So enough talk about aloe water and cucumber. The next one we have here is Aldi Huntington Home. This is sea salt and jasmine. Let me go ahead and take a whiff of this one. So I definitely get the saltiness in there, but the salty is not as predominant as the jasmine. The jasmine's a very sweet, perfumey jasmine, very gorgeous, a very stunning. If I had a mini warmer in my bathroom, I would melt this scent in my bathroom, but this is gonna go in my bedroom or my office, and I am so excited because I love this scent. It is like a spa-like fresh scent, absolutely gorgeous. So clearly I'm on a roll with these fresh scents. So I can't leave out here Yankee Candle and this is Water Garden. So this is a roll forward from last month. I didn't get around to using this. This is my favorite fresh Yankee Candle scent. Beautiful aquatic spa like fragrance. I see that about so many fragrances. 
but this one, oh, this one and the sea salt jasmine kind of smell a little bit similar, which I'm kind of digging. So what I do with these is I do quarter these and I end up getting four melts out of an easy melt cup. So those are all the melts that I selected for the month of May. Let's go ahead and get into candles. So I actually had seven candles picked out by accident. I'm like, oh no, let me tuck that one in my basket. That'll be burn later. So we're going to go ahead and start here with the Goose Creek. This is a big one. It's going to take a while for me to get through this one. This is Clementine Sunrise. Let me go ahead and take a whiff so I can let you guys know what I think of Clementine Sunrise. Oh, oh, I like that. So I definitely get a little bit of a tang smell if you were a kid and you had the like tang orange drink. I get that in there. I get some like fresh orange peel in there. Very beautiful citrus fragrance. Then I have here from Aldi Huntington Home. This was from their fall line this past year. Almond Apple Tort. And I could be mispronouncing that, but I think it's Almond Apple Tort. Let me go ahead and take a whiff of this. Ooh, so I get juicy, juicy, juicy red apple. And I feel like I get like a buttery pie crust note in there, almost with like a little touch of cherry almond. Very nice uh, apple fragrance. I definitely feel like that's a good classic all year round apple fragrance. Then we have a recent one that came out and this is Aldi Huntington Home. Pear Blossom and Citron. And this, I loved this one. I ended up getting two of this one and I'm so glad that I did. This one, I feel like you get fresh, juicy pear. Kind of feel like it has a little bit of like a lotion-y, almost white floral smell in there. And that's probably the blossom in there. This one, oh, it just smells like a clean pear fragrance. A little bit shampoo-y, a little bit herbal essence, like really, really like that one. So glad that I got two of it. Speaking of ones that I like, another Aldi here. We have Cabana Linen. This came out a little while ago. I don't remember exactly when, but I think it was this year. And Cabana Linen, literally, oh, smells like fabric softener. Smells like a uh, downy, just like the classic blue bottle, old school downy fragrance. Um, personally, it almost smells like when I clean my lint trap <laughs> for my dryer because that always smells like fabric softener. Almost smells like a uh, bounce dryer sheets. I love clean laundry smells. They're perfect for like bathroom or bedroom fragrances. Another citrus scent here we have from White Barn, which is also Bath and Body Works. This is Mango Waters. I picked this up on semi-annual sale last summer. Got these really cheap, I think like seven bucks. This is Sugared Mangoes, Pink Grapefruit, Fresh Seagrass. So this too, I believe, smells like the, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, this smells like the uh, Tutti Dolce Mango Sorbet. So this is going to pair very, very well with that Yankee Candle melt. Between the both of them, it should be a powerhouse of mango fragrance, and I look forward to it. So one last candle to share with you guys. It's a Bath and Body Works as well. Little small one here. Most likely this will be burnt in either my bedroom or my bathroom. You guys are probably wondering, well, what are you going to burn in your kitchen? The apple is going to go in the kitchen or the living room. The Clementine Sunrise is going to be a kitchen or a living room burn. Honeysuckle Bouquet is the last one I'm going to share with you guys. I'm a huge Bath & Body Works Honeysuckle Fragrance fan. If you guys saw my empties for the month of January, February, March, I believe I had one or two Honeysuckle candles in there. I love Honeysuckle Fragrances from Bath & Body Works. They did stop printing the scent descriptions on the bottom of these ones, but this is just a classic sweet honeysuckle floral fragrance. I love and adore honeysuckle fragrances. One of my favorites. 
So that is my monthly burn and melt basket for the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.